So what did I want to talk about is mathematical technique real quick. Um, when I was talking about displacement, I was showing you a way here where I had x hats and y hats, um, adding x's to x's, y's to y's. Um, that's actually what's called vector addition. Um, and that's the mathematical way of adding vectors. Um, some people refer to that the, as the hard way of adding vectors. I refer to it as the right way to add vectors. Um, it's more accurate, it's more precise. Um, dealing with some more complicated vectors, the mathematical vector gives me a better answer than I could get using any other method. The other method of adding vectors is called a graphical method. Um, the graphical method is to take two vectors and add and drawing the vectors in place. And you, you, need, you need typically a ruler and you need a protractor in order to do it. Um, I'm just going to do a freehand way of showing you how to do it. So, in some previous problems, I had a gentleman on a city block that walks 10 meters in this direction, and then that walks 10 meters in this direction. Okay? Graphically, or mathematically, I said this is the x direction, this is the y direction. I can add them together. As a matter of fact, let's make step three, where we had this term right here, just in order so I can say, a few additional words. Okay, and we said, "Oh, look, we've got 10 meters in the x, 10 meters in the x. This one's negative. This one's positive. I can add these terms together. I leave this term alone because there's no counter to that, or no additional." Um, that's how we did it, graphic or mathematically. Graphically, what I do is I treat all these vectors as these free-floating arrows that are 10 meters in length. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm not drawing a vector that's 10 meters in length, because if I were to do that, I would start here and just keep going. And my drawing surface is less than 8 feet in length, which is less than 9, me or 9 feet, which would be less than 3 meters. I don't have a way in which I can express 10 meters by just simply drawing it. What we do is we say, all right, take your meters, or take your, take your ruler, and saying every centimeter is, is, is representation of a meter or, or two meters or whatever you need it to be for the graphical method. But this is how it works in a nutshell. So I have all these vectors. I'm just going to put them over here on my bag of tricks. Here's one vector that's 10 meters. Here's another vector that's 10 meters. And I have an arrow to show me what direction that they're going. Oh, I'll move that over just a tad so that we have it more in, in frame. Here's 10 meters in one direction. Here's 10 meters in the other direction. And here's my less vector. That's 10 meters. Oop, not down. Up. Okay. 10 meters, 10 meters, 10 meters. Okay. They all should have about the same length. Um, I've been doing it for enough time that they all look like they have about the same length. And I can take those vectors and I can slap them together and I can get a vector addition. Um, how we do that is, first of all, we create the origin. It's always important to start with the origin when dealing with vectors. So we create the origin. And where's my magic marker for the origin? I've got my red. Take my red, put it in the center. Okay, there's my origin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those vectors and I'm going to start placing them. I can start with any vector I choose. Um, and I'm going to place that vector with what's referred to the tail of the vector, the side that doesn't have the arrow. Take that tail and place it at the origin. Okay? This method is also referred not only as a graphical method, or as the head-to-tail method. Okay? So I can take any vector. So here's A, B, and C. Let's start with, um, let's start with A, the top one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that vector, and I'm going to bring it down so that the tail is at the origin. Okay, so I'm just going to take it. I'm guessing, guessing at it. Um, what I would rather have you do is take a meter stick or a ruler measuring that and bringing it down to here. Okay, so here's my first one. It's approximately something like this. So that's vector A. Okay, that was 10 meters in this direction. Okay, I can bring in another vector for inch to make it a little interesting, I'm going to use this vector. I'm going to bring it over there. I'm going to place the tail. I drew a line right through the middle of that. I'm going to place the tail of this vector 
at the head of that first vector. So darken that in a little bit. There's the head, the arrow referring to the head of that vector. Take that and I'm going to place it right here. Okay, here's the 10 meters. It's the second vector. So I I've, I've have this vector, this is vector 1, the first one I started off. Then I put this vector in there. And then now I'm going to draw the third vector. Okay, placing the tail of that third vector, the head of the second vector. If I had a fourth vector, I'd simply take that fourth vector and start from the head of this third vector and add another one to it, or whichever direction it would happen to go. That's a graphical way of adding vectors. The resultant of that vector, what's, what's the resultant is the sum of my addition here. As I go this way, I go this way, I go this way, the resultant, which I'm going to express in green, starts from the tail of the first vector, which should be located at the origin, and goes to the head of the last vector. Like that. Okay? That is the resultant vector. Now, I can clearly see that that should be about 10 meters. And it's in the, x, it's in the positive y direction. That's the result of that. Okay? Now, this is a pretty simple way of doing it. And if, mind you, if all your vectors are in this direction, entirely in the x, entirely in the y, it's not that hard to do. Now, let's take it and make it a little more complicated to show you how we can add vectors that are not quite at 90 degrees from each other. What happens in this case if I have a... Grab my black. If I have a vector that goes something like this at 30 degrees, 10 meters, and then another one, well, let's make it 10 meters, and then another one that goes something like this, 10 meters, and then something like this, 10 meters. If I were to add this mathematically, I would have to take this one vector and I'd have to decompose it, which I'll show you how to do in the math section. Using trigonometry, I can decompose this vector. But if I want a, ball, a ballpark value of what this resultant vector is going to look like, I can do it graphically. Now, graphically is a great way of just saying, all right, I got three seconds to solve this problem. Where does my resultant vector end up? Blah, 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 bang it out real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my origin, and I'm going to start with any vector. I can choose any vector to start with out of those three. So I'm going to start with the top one, because that one's the kind of the, the, the more difficult one. So using a protractor, I would have measured out my 30 degrees, which is approximately right there. And then using a ruler, I would measure out what 10 meters would be. Remember that I'm talking maybe a centimeter is equal to a meter, or a centimeter is equal to two meters, whatever you wanted to choose. Um, some lend you know, we want to make it fairly big so that you can get some degree of accuracy. So, using that, I'm going to go something like 10 meters in that direction. Cool? So, placing the tail at the origin for the first vector. I have my head out over here. Now I'm going to pick another vector. Which one did I have? This one or this one? Doesn't matter which one. I'm going to choose the bottom one, just so I can mix things up. I'm going to go down 10 meters. Okay? There's the second vector, placing the tail of the second vector at the head of the first vector. Tail of the second vector at the head of the first vector. I'm going to draw my vector using a protractor, keep track of my angles, using a meter stick to keep track of my lengths. Now, the last one, I'm going to draw it right in here. Here's my 10 meters, okay? And then I'm done. I've done my vector addition. I want to draw my resultant. I'm going to grab my green marker. And my green marker is going to start at the tail of the first vector and go to the head of the last vector. That's the resultant. Let me draw this out a little bit bigger. Okay? Cool? So starting from here, going right about there. Now, of course, I'd probably want to use a ruler to get a nice straight line. That's the resultant of that addition, that green line. I can measure the length, and if I set it up to a scale where every, 
every uh, centimeter is equal to a meter. I can say, oh look, it's 23, 28, whatever centimeters. So that's going to be 28 meters. That's how far away. And then I can use a protractor to measure that angle. Okay? That's how you graphically add vectors. Cool? Hope it makes sense.